followers, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, mayan ayan nga hapon inyo tanan. Aklan has made a name for itself on the map as an ideal destination for its distinctive culture, breathtaking scenery, and extraordinarily gifted and kind-hearted people. The Aklan Provincial Government proudly highlights the beauty and richness of the province from its powdery sandy beaches, the vibrant sounds of festivities, and the unique native fabrics to the abundance of agricultural products, marine resources, and flourishing tourism industry, making it possible for the province to continue to walk through the doors of innovation and development and evolve into an even more progressive Aklan. And so, witness a performance that unveils Aklan's true gems that seamlessly weaves together the province's cultural heritage, artistic ingenuity, and booming tourism industry, all brought to life by the talented Aklanos. Immerse yourself in the history and culture that are woven into the fabric of Aklanon's everyday life. Let the intricate patterns of locally made piña fabric captivate your senses from the skilled hands of weavers to the artistic minds of designers. Experience the diversity of religious practices that mark the celebration of festivals with colorful handmade costumes and unique drumbeats. Come and experience it for yourself. Feel alive, feel Aklan. Viva Aklan! Viva! The province of Aklan is home to the renowned Pinya Habol. This sought after art form is a testament to the skills and expertise of local artisans, a tradition that is deeply rooted in the culture and heritage of Aklan. Through efforts of preservation and promotion, the next generation of master weavers will be able to carry on the legacy of this long-standing tradition. The intricate craftsmanship of the Pinya weaving is made up of five stages, starting with the Pagkige. Mature pineapple leaves are harvested and separated from their outer layer using a blunt object such as coconut shell or a piece of porcelain. Two types of fiber are extracted from the leaves. Bastos, the first layer with a strong rock textured fiber, and the new one, a finer fiber straight away from the leaf and used to weave fabrics. The pagpisik and pagmanugot stages involve hand knotting and trimming to produce a single lengthy seamless fiber. The fiber is twisted and tops and the spools during pagpanigas. And the final stage of the process, described as paghabon, includes weaving the fiber on a straight two-petal loom. Weaving together culture and creativity, this pinya cloth in sample is a timeless representation of Filipino fashion. Crafted with intricate detail in a modern twist, this collection proves the versatility of pinya cloth, which can be worn for any occasion and is transformed into stylish streetwear and everyday clothing. Designed by Ryan Salazar Lopez.
Jesse Power Fan and Paul of New Washington, wearing the design of Adriano Samar. are venerated as symbols of faith and hope in Atlan. St. Joseph, spouse of Mary in Bama, St. Joseph the worker in Tumansa, St. Isidore the farmer in Lazo, St. Joseph the worker in Malina, Holy Child in Makato, St. John the Pomosi in Tamala, St. Peter the Apostle in Timahai, St. Isidore the farmer in Tamas, Senor Santo Niño in Artabas, Our Lady of Guadalupe in Patalang, Immaculate Conception in Patalang, St. Joseph the Worker in Balay, St. Raphael the Archangel in Balete, St. Anthony of Padua in Pinwanga, St. Catherine Alexandria in Limata, St. John the Baptist in Balita, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary in New Washington. Offers a one of a kind experience that highlights the province's rich cultural heritage and identity. Altamas Pavia Vihan Festival is an annual celebration in honor of the San Francisco at the fourth week of January.
Festival that showcases the spirit of cooperation and resilience of its people, Blue Street Taxi.
Holidays working together.